you get yourself a fabulous motor vehicle, a fine house, and can afford to pay for your own meals, then girlfriend, you are a businesswoman. All these accusations about my relations with you. You've been through it a lot, you feel me? And the that's happening ain't right. It's wrong. Saying I ain't gonna go into detail. No, 100%. Let me just say something. Yes, all the men that you think you can be in there. Why are you so Very bad. Yo! Yo! Never. I don't even know what that means. It means me. Yo, what's a dog? They be like, they gonna be like, oh my gosh, she looks her tongue. She's gay. Yes. <laughs> my mom knows I'm gay. My mom knows I'm a bulldog in this industry. <laughs> Let me turn around. Why, when I kiss a girl, or when she licks my tongue, is it that I'm a bad girl? I'm not a bad girl. That doesn't mean you're a bad girl. That just means that I like what I like. I like variety. I like multiple. Killer instinct. Yeah, I, you know that I'm an animal. Oh, baby, I'm down with this shit. Love when I'm bagging that bitch. Bro, this is be all that way lit. No cap. It is what it is. Y'all gotta listen to my music and you'll understand, but I'm not gonna sit here and talk about what I like and what I don't like when I'm on this live. I like miracles, I like Carter, I like beautiful women, I like anything that you like. Because we're the same people. I like Shocky. Hey, baby. Hi, baby. One, one, baby. One, one, baby. I'm acting unusual. Oh, my God. So I want to talk a little bit about Little Fizz and the situation going on right now on social media. Now, apparently, the Millennium Tour was announced this week. And unfortunately, Fizz is not going to be invited on or B2K. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about what's been happening with this group, as well as Omarion during the segment. Make sure that you become a subscriber. Like this video. Our goal for this video is definitely 100 likes, if possible. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We are trying to grow it at this time. So, April Jones has been hugged up with another rapper. We'll be talking about that in the part two of this segment. We'll also be talking about, Jay Boog spoke about Little Fizz on IG and said 99% of it was Fizz's fault. So, we'll be talking about that as well. And last but not least, we'll be talking a little bit about, first, about what Omarion's standpoint in this is. Because I feel like there's a lot of hidden language in the interview, like body language and just things that he said that you can actually find there's more to what he's saying. He's just very good trained when it comes to media. So, you know, Omarion from B2K, you know, he's definitely a solo act. He's had Icebox, Where My Heart Used to Be, he got to Touch, he got to a bunch of different songs he's done on his own, supposed to be as well, which really did chart really well with Chris Brown and Junie Aiko. She's a member of his family, so they're keeping it in the family. And at this time currently, let's go ahead and get it, you guys. So at this time currently, we got April Jones, you know, telling everybody they're friends at first. And then all of a sudden, they ain't, they ain't friends. And now, they're talking marriage. But let's go ahead and ski skirt on those marriage plans. Because we got April Jones hugged up with another rapper, okay? I'll be talking about that last, okay? But... Right now, let's go ahead and get into it. So, Omarion was on the B2K tour, supposedly Little Fizz. Like, no one tells me nothing, acting like he ain't did nothing wrong, whatever, whatever. Now, my thing is this. I think Little Fizz is the type of dude that is his friend, you know, group member, whatever. I don't think he has any loyalty to anyone. That's why he does this. Like, we shouldn't be surprised that he does this. Because if he's on the same show as Moniece and then has to date all these other women that are on the show, like Nick, uh, Nikki Murderous, and she was going at... Uh, Moniz for Little Fizz, but I just didn't see it lasting long, and apparently it didn't. So now he's on to the next one. Now we got April Jones back in the fold. 
You know, she was on the first Love & Hip Hop series, and then she's back now. Now, my only concern about this is that April Jones is a clout chaser. Everybody knows that, in a way. And she also is a model, and she's been in a lot of videos for rappers. So, at this point, you know, we believe that she's in love with Little Fizz until we heard the news about her hooked up with another rapper, which I'll talk about him later. Not right now. Omarion seemed to be really cool and collective and just, just sitting back, just chilling, you know. He seemed to not care. They got the Unbothered t-shirts on, on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood this year. At the end of the uh, year, they had those hey. Working for them, it's backfiring. We have Meek Mill say something about it. We got all these people T speaking on it. Even uh, uh, the dude from Trey D from uh, Snoop Dogg's group, the East Siders. He said that she's a toss-up chick because she's going from man to man. And, you know, apparently, you know, that's just something I've never even heard of that before. <laughs> I've, I'm definitely one of those people that don't know everything. But I never heard of the, the term toss-up chick. Michelle, she'd be an even better artist. And I, I'm just a little concerned that, like, K. Michelle on the show, she seems to not, like, want to give anything. It's like she's always putting herself on this pedestal, like, oh, I'm this great singer, and they ain't been doing this the long as I have, and they can't work together because they slobbing on the same knob and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's good entertainment for K. Michelle, you know, to watch these chicks, but I feel like she's not giving back, and I thought that's kind of what being an artist is. You're also giving helping other people and um she says she would never do a tour with them never whatever like that i think if she was wrong i think she was wrong about that she should do a opening act uh with monice only if she's consistent and i think that if she were to mentor her the way that um yo-yo's mentoring the people on the show the girls and p different people like um mickey sunday um I think that things would be different for her. But maybe she's not ready for that at this point. She has a lot of music to do. She's doing a country album. So maybe she's not ready for that. I just don't like the way she treats these other artists. I think it's kind of cocky. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, April Jones was caught, hugged up with another man. And a pair, I'm going to do it on part two. I'm just going to give it to you here. And she was, you know, spotted at the club. So I feel like, you know, this is a big lesson for Little Fizz. Like, don't put all your eggs in on one basket. This chick is definitely a toss-up. And she's going to go with whoever is cool for the moment or where she's at. And that's just kind of the personality April has. Now, I also feel bad for her because she had a lot of baggage in the relationship with her father. And just a lot of baggage with abandonment issues. And I feel like she's looking for something. And she won't find it because she needs to look, it for, it, look for it in herself. She'll never meet a man that's going to complete her. She needs to work on her. And everyone has to do this at least once in life if they want, you know, to. But if they don't want the help, they don't have to have it. Um, I think that she should not be dating anyone. I think um, she's emotionally unstable. And it's just sad to see all of this unravel in front of us. Now, Omarion did say he didn't feel any kind of way. Um, even Vlad was like, you know, he was on this video playing with her butt. And he's like, well, that's what couples do. He didn't really seem phased by what Vlad TV was asking. And he gave all the right answers. But I think one of the telling things was is when Little Fizz talked about him not being close to Omarion. They weren't friends like that. It's a business relationship. It's like he changed up. It's like he was like, okay, well, he's going to say that. Well, I'm not going to be trying to act like I'm his friend. So I think it was like one of those situations like, huh, huh. You know, this you know, this guy's running around covering his tracks. Like, we're not friends so that he doesn't have to have any guilt for it. But now that Omarion's decided to do the tour of Bow Wow and not Those are alleged rumors. I don't know if it's really true, and I hope it's not. But it might not be. 
tv.com to read more on the story otherwise my name is dj <laughs> harmony and i'm out for the night yeah, i will no. see you guys they next like, time like, oh my God, and this is ear to the streets today. news provided by radio yes. 2 tv.com <laughs> my mom knows i'm gay my mom knows i'm a fucking bulldog in this industry why, when I kiss a girl, or when she licks my tongue, is it that I'm a bad girl? I'm not a bad girl. That doesn't mean you're a bad girl. That just means that I like what I like. I like variety. I like multiple. Killing instant. Yeah, hip hop hoes.